Okay, under other business, first item there is commissioner email. Are we gonna, somebody want to take that? I guess I will. Okay, Commissioner Armstrong. Um, when last we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. You're working. Yeah, I'm working. I noticed that. So I'm not talking so loud now. <laughs> um, I um, followed up on a couple of the questions that were raised at our last meeting about a month ago, I guess, then, right? One of them being how many other counties are doing it this way. Are we the only one? I forget who raised that issue. And the other issue being... Um, where does it say this in the in the law mm -hmm. and what rules do we have to follow and I visited with our state's attorney and I know she's pretty ill but you're welcome to jump in here and correct me if I get off topic here but there are kind of two things that govern this one is uh, Century Code 544607 which basically tells us as commissioners that uh, we have to follow the rules that are set up for the retention schedule the retention schedule is done by our information technology folks for the state of North Dakota. And you can go online there and look, look this up. Uh, our particular um, retention schedule number is 450101, which is uh, official county commissioner correspondent retention for three years. So anything we get, whether it's an email or a letter, a written form, uh, we're supposed to hold on to that stuff for a period of three years. And at the fourth year, you would get rid of the latest amount of material, but then you would keep those other two records at series. Am I, am I so far so good? That's correct. Okay. So um, we really don't have a choice in the matter of, of following what the state of North Dakota requires us to do. Ten counties do it correctly, as uh, both Julie and I looked at that. Uh, I went through the book here. I talked to Terry Trainer. Um, at our North Dakota Association of Counties to get some input from him about why all commissioners aren't doing this because this appears to be the law and the rules. And he said that they aren't um, the legal counsel <coughs> for all counties. They only advise and you know they don't tell them what they have to do. Um, and when I sent him the statute and I sent him the correspondent retention record information, that was the end of the discussion we were having back and forth uh, on a text message. And I visited with our, our state's attorney uh, and tried to figure out a way to make this easy uh, to transition to. And I think that's where some of this other information we had handed out here today kind of leads us to. Um, we can uh, purchase a iPad or a Microsoft product. Uh, the prices are there and highlighted in yellow to address Commissioner uh, Chairman Bittner's concern about having to hook it up to his Wi-Fi at home, you can purchase a unlimited data plan for $40 a month so that they will hook up to Wi-Fi or the Verizon data network, um, which is kind of handy if you're for going out uh, in our remote areas of the county. I'm, I'm guessing we have pretty good cell service mm -hmm. out there. Well, this would be one, one option then, our Wi-Fi service, if you're in like Wing or something. I'm sure they have Wi-Fi there. Mm -mm. Okay, well then this would help <laughs> for, for that situation. Um, so there's a couple of choices there and how, how big you want it. What it would do is we could also set it up um, to automatically archive the information uh, that we need to keep on that. That would be our emails. So it would go into a folder and at the end of a three year period of time, fourth, in that fourth year you would just wipe out the rest of it. If there is an open records request, our state's attorney will have easy access to this. It doesn't leave it to as it does now to, for me to decide if this is something I should submit or is this something that was written to me as a personal note, whatever. She, she makes the call. She takes care of it for us. We don't have to personally figure out whether we're complying with the open records request if one were to come in on that basis. So uh, we, you, we can think about it again. You can look this stuff over, and I'm, I'm, I'm here to answer questions as best I can. I got all this information from our state's attorney. I think the, the key points here, and I wrote them down, any correspondence must be kept for a period of three years. We have to do that as commissioners. It's easier to do with a state email address. I know you all have been using other email addresses, and the simple fix for that is if you get something on that email address, you forward it to your county commissioner email, and there it is, and you can delete the other one or do whatever you want with it at that point. And they can also set that up to do that automatically for you if you, if you wanted to do it that way. Um, and that's basically the, the sum, sum total of it. I'd be happy to answer any questions. 
Mr. Chairman, hey, Commissioner so if, if I get an email on my personal email that's a county related, I can forward it to my government one and forget yeah. about it, right? You know, what I would also do is you can set up an automatic reply that, that, that you could send back to somebody. If this has to do with county commission or business, I have a new email address. Here it is. That gives that, that person the opportunity to do that. If it's not, if I need something to done on my slacks special, you know, and I go to info at airheadcleaners.com, you'll know that, right? right? So it'll still come through. Okay. So there's a couple ways you can handle it. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, what's the difference between the, the city is the G 32 GB and we're uh, elite books? Is there a, why are we? Well, there's a there's an iPad solution. Are they do, are they doing the with, with the three hundred nine dollar machine that they're using? Are they keeping track of all the records that they've got? Right, because the records don't stay on this device. This is merely a okay. device to pull the right. information down. Right. Okay. So where it's up on a cloud, right. and so it just it pulls it down. So you just need a a device to access that information. We could use them at the meetings as well and get rid of these books. I mean, there's been right. talk about doing that as well. We can integrate them better. I'm on a committee with uh, the city. They're looking at upgrading this so that we could simply just punch our iPad up and it would it would go up on the system if we wanted to share a document or a picture or, or whatever. Tonight, maybe the hall road, you know, uh, Marcus could have had that information out. So they, they are planning to make these much more integrative than they are now. I think the iPad's the way to go, but, you know, somebody here expressed some concern about that. I think Commissioner Jones, so you I, shouldn't have that option to go the other way. I've had several iPads. And on occasion, not often, but on occasion, there is a document which you need to print and keep a hard paper. There is nothing worse to try to print off than an iPad. It's like trying to print off a well, I, ha I have an iPad. I have an iPhone. I, I, I don't have any problems, so I guess you – but if you feel more comfortable with a PC, um, the solution there is uh, that Elite uh, Book X360. That, that would be my choice. There you go. Personal preference. And you can also upgrade those iPads if you, for some reason, are think you're going to run some kind of crazy program on it that we need more memory for. But for email, it's pretty simple and straightforward. But correct me if I'm wrong, Kevin could send the agenda in the agenda packet and these could all go away. Yes, absolutely. Right. That's what we want. Yep, absolutely. Either way, whatever you choose. It's a PDF document he would send to us. Yeah. And th those yeah. will open up either on an iPad or a PC. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, I'm already sending you PDFs of the agenda packets. So okay. Friday morning before just, the meeting. Just double checking. Mr. Chairman, mm -hmm. are we sure this is not an April Fool joke? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the I same want, thing today. You know, I just I could, want to make about, clear. You I, know, can throw, <laughs> I could throw something else in here, but I won't. <laughs> I'm waiting for something to happen. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, um. You know, I don't have any issues with that thing except for the cost. And, you know, currently we don't, I don't think we have a budget for this sort of expenditure, and we could probably find the money. Um, it's just a concern. No, I understand. I, so, I, you know, I, I think no. the flip side of it is there is a law we're supposed to be following. I think we should. Uh, our state's attorney thinks we should. And this mm -hmm. is the way to get there. If, if there's concern about this budget cycle, not having the funds and having to wait to August, I guess that's you can make that decision. But I think the sooner the better. My, my, my idea. I mean, I'm I'm doing this right now as a I'm using a state email address, right? Uh, and I'd like to see all of us do that, and then we're all on the same page. I'd like to Commissioner. see somebody enforce the law. Then we'd have to do it. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> obviously why we haven't done it because we've nobody's ever told us that right we're. well i think there's been a transition commissioner Palusto, to this in the larger counties that are doing this if you look through that's if you look through our little book here um you know they're the bigger counties that are actually doing this i went through all 53 counties and looked at what they did and and forum don't even use email at all so we could go back that way too and say no you can't reach us by email Jerry Woodcox is all for that. Now we're talking. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd actually be okay with that. Yeah, but I don't um, think we can take that step backwards. So the, the forward step, and it's it's not all the big counties, like Barnes County, McKenzie County, they're doing it, Botno County, Cass County, um, uh, Griggs County, uh, Stark County. So it's a mix of different counties that are doing this, but they're doing it correctly. 
And I'm, I'm hoping to talk to, our, well, I don't know how many thousands of dollars we pay to the North Dakota Associated Exchange of Counties, but at the next meeting, they should certainly say, hey, this is the law, this is what you should be doing. And I'd rather be a leader in that rather than a follower, frankly. So that's where I'm at. Commissioner Palusa. So, so then we would just publish our email address in our, on our website yep. to try to make the transition. Yes. Because my mine's been out there for a dozen years. Right. And mm -hmm. it's going to be confusing for mm -hmm. a while. For yep. a while. As I suggested before, you can put an uh, automatic reply to that email address. If this is county commissioner business, here's my new email address. And, you know, the, over time, that should, should help, right? Clear enough. Yeah, make the switch. Yep. If somebody could show me how to do that, oh, I'd absolutely. Well, I was, I was just going to say, you know, I, they, they, down here, me. I would work with Brandon Yoder down at the city IT department. There, you walk down into their office. There, they, they'll walk you through this. Okay. I know there's a little bit of technology pushback on this that I don't want to have to mess with something again. But they are very helpful. Um, they will. They're right in the same building here, and they. And I had a couple problems getting onto my iPhone with the account, but they walked me through it. They, we opened up the app, and we put in the right credentials and boom there it was so there you go well and I'd make a motion that we uh, we purchase four iPads and one uh, elite book and get it get it done I'll second that a unless you guys want to something else whatever works okay we have a motion to second any further discussion Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Well, you're taking care of us here. Thank you. <laughs> Keep me out of jail. Yeah. Why don't you bring in a method of saving money one of these days? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm working on that, yeah. Mr. Chairman. You know that. Okay. So, yeah. No, I don't know yeah. that. <laughs>